Okay, this video is going to show you how to set up your grade book um, using some really cool tools that are new in Synergy this year um, called the Stepper. So the first thing that we're going to do is once we get logged into Synergy, uh, select one of your classes that you'd like to set up. And you want to make sure that you have your focus and that your focus is correct. Should be the 2022-2023 school year. If you click on that, you should see where you're at for your grades, your classes, so that you know that you've got everything. What we're going to do is we're going to go into Gradebook, and what we want to do is go down to Gradebook Setup. Okay, so when we go into Gradebook Setup, this is going to show us our grades and the assignment categories that we use. Um, these are the district types that are already in there for the Synergy Gradebook, but uh, we're going to add some of our own types. And so the, with the way that I do mine is, you know, we still have the 90. 10, but I'm going to go into my assignments types and I'm going to add a type. And so now we have these are set up by the district that we have um, assignment, project, test, quiz, and homework. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a type. So I'm going to hit this new button and I'm going to create a type for it and I'm going to call this practice. And so what I do is I have uh, two categories practice and assessment. Um, sequence is where do you want this to show up in the sequence? Uh, so it really doesn't matter where it comes up because I'm going to only use the two. So I'm going to put that it's going to come next on there. It's going to be seven. Um, due dates, I use due dates. So I'm going to put yes that it's going to have due dates. And then what I'm going to do is choose the color that I would like for my practices, practice assignments. So the kids will see what their practice assignments are. So what I'm going to do is uh, you can create a custom color. Um, so if you adjust these, you can make your own custom color, if you will. Um, so I'm going to make this, I'm going to make this a little, kind of a little purpley for my practice assessments. Uh, text color is going to be dark, and I'm going to make that my practice. So this is going to be my practice. I'm going to add one more. So I'm going to hit one more that I would like to do. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an additional one. Now I've hit the insert, it, now it's added it to it, and you can see I put it at seven, so it's down in the sequence for it, so that's my type. I'm going to add one more, and I'm going to call this assessment. Assessment. Um, we'll make this, we'll just put this in next sequence, eight. I'm going to put a due date on it. I'm going to make a color for this one. This one, I'm going to make this one a, kind of a greenish color for them, for my grades. So I'm going to kind of go with that. Keep the text color dark. I'm going to hit OK. There's my assessment. I'm going to hit the insert button and it's going to be inserted. And so now that I've got these inserted in here, if I go back to my gradebook setup, I can see, I can hit here to say the update button and that'll put mine in here. So I've got my assessment and practice. So we've got them in there along with the other project types. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a really, really cool thing that is going to be our stepper, setup stepper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the setup stepper because I've got my types created. So we're going to create our types or use the district types, but I'm going to do my setup stepper. So this is going to help you set up your gradebook. It's a new feature this year. Um, if you have different grading periods, you can set them up differently. I'm going to set up all of my uh, classes the same. So I'm going to hit, so I want to do all of my classes. So you can select for the entire year. Um, you can do just your first semester classes, however you want to do it. I'm going to hit this arrow to go next once you've selected the classes. Um, what I'm going to do is if I had an existing setup, I could set this up. So for future times, but I'm going to start a new setup. This is the first time I'm using this setup stepper. So I'm going to start a new setup. So you simply click on the one that you would like to. Or if you have a previous class that you've already set up, you can drop down which class you want to model this after. So I'm going to create a new setup. So I just put the check mark there. I'm going to go next. I'm going to use what are the categories that I've got. Um, my class, you got two things. You got practice and assessment. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to put those in here. And you have the district types. Now, I've already done mine. I could add new types right from here if I wanted to create an assignment type. But I went ahead and created them the old fashioned way. So I could go in here and create a new assignment type. I can give it a name, give it a color, um, put the due date on if I'd like to, if I wanted to call that. So we can do the exact same thing. So what I'm going to do is I've got my assignment types. I'm going to come over here. Um, I use, we use the 9010. So I'm going to use categories. You can choose if you're using categories or points. I'm going to use my categories. 
Um, my practice is going to be 10%. My uh, assessment is 90 points. And I do a one-to-one -one for my points. Um, you can also adjust um, how many assignments is it that you're going to drop or what are your points, how do you calculate your grades. So I'm going to use that. So I've got mine set up. I'm going to go see to look at your rounding. Um, I actually do around my percentages for students. So I'm going to set up here and say I'm going to have my percentage rounding on. Um, and then I use whole numbers. And so what we've got here, you can also say I do, I do decimal places for it. So we'll go to one decimal place uh, if we want to to get that. And so we, we, I do mine with whole numbers rounding for them. I'm going to head up. Um, at this time, I'm not grading using standards. It's something that we're hoping to get to. But if I wanted to, I could sit in here with the grades and I calculate my grades using standards or how we, if we do the standards-based grading. Um, so we, again, we just hit the next button, work through. Um, using Google Classroom, Google Classroom is a great tool to integrate in with your Synergy and Formative. So I do use Google Classroom. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is enable this for all of these. Um, if you've previously created a class a Google Classroom, you can now enter your Google Class codes right into here so that you've got your Google Class codes if you'd like to create those in. Um, I'm going to set this up so that I've got everything um, set for my Google Classes. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually come back. I just want to do my first semester stuff. I'm not going to create my second semester um, Google Classrooms just yet. So I'm going to turn those off so that I've got those because I just don't want to, you know, maybe I, I don't have that stuff going just yet. So we're just going to um, get into those um, at the end of it. Um, the other thing is with mine, I've got a year long class. So I don't want to do another intro to engineering design because it's a year long class. So if you're teaching year long class, my recommendation would be to just do your semester one create it then you can add uh, at semester two do the same class code to to get your semester two for it if you wanted to keep your one google classroom or perhaps you want to have a separate google classroom first semester and second semester to chunk the information so students don't get overwhelmed with it so all right now i'm just setting up my semester one classes i'm going to go to my summary it's going to tell me everything that i've done with it and i'm going to hit the check mark and it is going to set my grade book up for me with my Google uh, links and classrooms. Now, it's, once we've done that, it's going to go through and create my Google Sync. So it's going to sync up my Google classrooms and rosters. So now if I go in to Google Classroom, I will see my newly created classrooms that have our, my class code for them. So if I go into my newly created class, I could look and see it's brought over my student rosters. So I've already got my students in here and everything. So my Google Classroom is set up to link back and forth. And that's all you need to do to get your gradebook set up for the year.